Now, see a polarization of light by reflection. Suppose you have taken a me this is the interface and there is I have taken here the medium that is a denser medium. This one is your denser medium. Now, this is a normal I have drawn and unpolarized light is coming from here which has got the two component one is in the plane of the incidence another is perpendicular to the plane of the incidence. If you keep on changing this angle this is angle of incidence at certain angle suppose that is here I p this is the component which is perpendicular to the plane of the incidence gets reflected to this side and another component comes to this side here. And in this case we can say this light is polarized over here because only one component of the light we are getting. So, at the by changing the angle we can get this condition at the certain angle when it happens here that is called Brewster angle or you can say the angle of polarization and whenever this polarization is taking place. So, angle between this polarized light and refracted ray is here that is 90 degree. So, we can write this is I p. So, this is also I p because angle of incidence is equal to angle of refle uh, reflection. Now, this here we can take this is A, this is O, this is here B and this is C and this is D. Now, when the light is getting polarized here in that condition we can write angle D O C is equal to 90 degree this angle is 90 degree. Now, D O C can be written angle D O B plus angle B O C is equal to 90 degree. So, angle D O B is it means this angle is 90 degree minus I P we can write. So, this whole is the 90 so the 90 degree minus I P. So, we can write 90 minus I P plus 90 minus R this is angle of refraction R is equal to 90. So, this we can cancel here. So, we can write R is equal to 90 minus I P. So, we have got this relation here R is equal to 90 minus I P. Now, we can take here in this case refractive index. So, we can write mu is equal to sin I upon sin R. So, we can write here mu is equal to sin I P divided by sin 90 minus I P because we have taken this here. So, that can be written mu is equal to sin I p divided by cos I p that is mu is equal to tan I p. So, this is actually known as a Brewster law. So, this we can say here this is called Brewster law. So, Brewster law is here that is mu is equal to tan I p here. So, this is one important concept where you can get question based on this.